the Markonavit saga continues, but it looks like it looks like the end is in sight. Sean Weston first tweeted tonight about um, that West Ham had received a take it or leave it offer from Shanghai of twenty two and a half million pounds. Ex West Ham employees follow this up as well, so it looks like the club have accepted a bid. Um, and it does look like West Ham United have or will accept the bid of twenty two and a half million pounds from Markonavit. The, it's a lot less money than they wanted, but I think it's just a case of Marco, Marco Navis has won. He has got what he's wanted. He got his approved contract in January. He's now getting his big money moved to China. He's 100% won this. The club, David Sullivan, got it wrong in January, and they're, they're paying for it now. You know, Apparently, we had a £35 million bid in January. I thought it was less than that, but apparently it was £35 million. Well, how they're wishing they took that and didn't um, give him his new contract. The the reason they are selling him for such a less fee is that the manager wants him gone. Um, it was made clear from, I say day one, from about two days ago when all this kicked off, that Pellegrini was going to have the final say. And if that is to be believed, and I do believe that Pellegrini's had the final say here, uh, and that's why we're accepting just two, £22.5 million pounds. Because if it was up to David Sullivan, I don't think we'd accept this offer. But it looks like he is he's had his fingers burned because it was him that gave Mark and Avis a new contract in January. So I think he's learned his lesson. He's just leaving it up to Pellegrini now to decide what to do. And the manager's decided he wants to sell Mark and Um It is a lot less than what people would be happy with. I just wanted him gone. But I realised that you've almost got to bring in a replacement with the money we're selling him for. And it's... Not a lot of manoeuvrement with this, the fees. We've just seen Iose Perez join Leicester City for £30 million. So that's the going rate uh, in the Premier League in this day, well, today. And for £22.5 million, you don't get a lot of money unless you buy Solomon Rondon. But that's for other videos, etc. This does, I think, apply a bit of pressure to West Ham because Gonza's just done a video on another channel that Maxi Gomez looks like he's joining Valencia. Um, it's sort of being what people have been expecting all summer, I think, really. It's come as no surprise. The Marco and Average things come as no surprise. But what does come is a little bit of pressure on West Ham United because, you know, we now need to get a, maybe even two strikers in. We've just lost the guy that was starting up front for us last season. Um, there's still five weeks of transfer window to go. There's still plenty of time to get one, two strikers in. It does cause a problem for Javier Hernandez because how do we now... Does this now block his move out of West Ham? You'd have to imagine it does, unless we do get in two top strikers. Um, so it looks like he's going to be here. And it, it also means that this move from Anarvic is going to cost West Ham 8 to £10 million on Hernandez as well, because next summer his contract's finished at West Ham, so he can just walk out the door for free. Whereas we would have got a, l a little bit of money for him this summer, so we're going to lose out on him as well because of Marko Anarvic. Um, very selfish from Marco, it's no surprise he's won against West Ham he's won against David Sullivan and I'm glad Pellegrini's just, you know what, just get rid of him I've seen a lot of debates today on social media about, um, you know, let him rot in the reserves type thing and stuff and I understand why people would like to do that in an ideal world, but we don't live in an ideal world, I don't think it's cost effective, I think, you know, you can't pay someone over £100,000 a week not to play football at West Ham United. It's not something we can do. I think you'd be handcuffing Pellegrini as well because he would lose his top striker and get no money to replace him. Plus, the wages wouldn't be freed up either. Um, you'd have to still pay Marco just to not to play games at West Ham. It's not something we can do at West Ham United. Um, Pellegrini's main responsibility is to win games of football. Um, that's in the league challenge on the domestic cup front as well play good football you'd imagine is near the top of his priorities second to that he, he worries about squad harmony etc etc the one thing he doesn't worry about is the bottom line of the football club he doesn't worry about the pound notes that's not his job his, that's David Sullivan and Cam Brady's job it's up to them to make the finances work at the football club so as far as Pellegrini is concerned he wants rid of the, the bad attitude, the bad egg. He wants him out of the club, away from his squad, who are back for pre-season. And Arovic is due back um, next week, I believe. So I can understand why Pellegrini wants this deal done over so that Marco Arovic never sets foot in Switzerland to join the West Ham's training camp. Because why would you want him there? We've all seen the videos. They're all playing golf, having a laugh, etc. The last thing you want is someone like Marco Arovic rocking up um, to that place because what do you then do do you include him in pre-season or do you leave him out but when, when the window shuts then what do you do 
So I think this is the right call from Pellegrini, and I'm glad Pellegrini's been handed the full responsibility here and he's making the call. It's now up to David Sullivan to make sure that Pellegrini and Husselos has enough money. They need enough money to go get two players. Now, the rumours are we're looking at strikers around the 20, 25 million pound mark. 30 million pounds seems to be our absolute ceiling um, on strikers. You add in their Natovich money, uh, Stoke get 20% of profits. I know someone's going to ask what Stoke get. They get 20% of profits, so it's about half a million pounds Stoke are entitled to. Um, plus 5% of the fee goes to FIFA because he's changing the association. Um, so West Ham are left with about £21 million. Now, this is where I get bugged a little bit, and that is Marco Navic has not handed in a transfer request. Now, unless he has, it's done, and we just don't know about it yet. But Marco's also drew a few million pounds, I believe, out of this for his loyalty bonus and his signing on fee payments that he's not yet received. So the club will have less than £20 million out of this deal once everybody's had their share. And it's, it's just not a lot of cash unless we go for Solomon Rondon. We know the price he is, but the problem is Perez has got rent to last of £30 million, so now Newcastle have £30 million in their bank and they need a striker. So you imagine that if Pellegrini does want Rondon, it's now a straight shootout between us and Newcastle United as to who's going to get the Venezuelan striker. Um, but it's the right call for me from Pellegrini, the uh, right call from West Ham United to back Pellegrini. A little bit of pressure to get a striker, but there's still plenty of time. I'm pretty relaxed. I've just watched Gonzo's video, and he was saying he's pretty relaxed about the whole thing as well, and he doesn't for one second believe that Pellegrini doesn't have other targets. And uh, I've not spoken to Gonzo about his video or that, uh, but I can you know, emphasise that I agree with him on that as well, because Pe Pellegrini wouldn't give this deal the go-ahead if he didn't have a plan of sorts. You'd imagine that we're going to move pretty quick, or we've maybe already moved pretty quick, um, I would not be surprised if come Tuesday we've signed a striker because the, the, it's already in progress as it stands. Um, I know Gonzo doesn't believe we were after Maxi Gomez. I do believe we were after Maxi Gomez because the sources from it came from Spain rather than um, our side of the thing. But regardless of whether we were after him or not, we now need two strikers. And if we were after Maxi Gomez, like I believe we were, we've just lost out on that target we now need another target and we need two as well so it'll be interesting i think west ham need to move fast they need to go get someone in and i think they will i think they will because we cannot risk you know this going on from into two weeks to go before the window closes with just hernandez um, and hugo at the football club but anyway let us know what you think 22.5 million pounds it looks like mark on average is coming to an end he is going to be a chinese playing in china uh, over the next few days i'd imagine this is going to get tied up um but let us know what you think in the comments below. I'll be doing a video with Gonzo at some point in the next few days. And imagine there'll be a lot of rumours to talk about. Because when this goes through, West Ham are going to have a lot of money um, to spend. And that's where all the rumours are going to start coming through. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. Uh, there's a mass debate video up. Uh, mass debate. It's important that you listen correctly for that. Uh, where we talked about the board, their performance over the last 12 months, etc. So myself and Gonzo are joined by a few faces. Some you'll recognise, some you won't recognise. Um, so do check that out. It's on your screen now, as is Gonzo's video on the Maxi Gomez thing. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Thank you for joining us.